Hey guys, it's Billy. Welcome to tutorial number four, how to create a website for your church. Today we're going to look at how you upload a banner image so that you can replace this text with a banner. First thing you do is you go to your website, grapevine.tinypurplegrapes.com is what ours is, and you log in. To upload a banner, you'll click on this Upload a Banner Image link. And it allows you to choose a file by browsing to it. Um, one thing it uh, reminds you about up here is that ideally, if you want your banner to appear exactly as it appears in your uh, paint program or, or where, however you created it, you'd want to create it to be 600 pixels wide and 120 pixels high. That's how big it's going to be when it appears in your banner on your website but if it doesn't happen to be exactly that size that's okay it'll be uh, shrunk or stretched to fit in there perfectly so it doesn't have to exactly match this but if you if it seems to be stretching or squishing or doing something weird then what you want to do is you want to make sure your banner image matches the size of the banner area so I'm going to choose a file I'm going to go with this cloud banner that I downloaded off the internet and then after I select it I need to click on the upload banner image but you'll notice there's also a delete current banner after you upload a banner if you want to get rid of it you just come in here and you can click the delete banner and you'll get rid of your banner and you can replace it with something else or just replace it back with the text that you had so I'm gonna upload the banner image so you see that the banner image just appears there uh, behind the text that you have for your uh, website. And let's say I, I, if I wanted to upload a banner that had the text right on the banner, I wouldn't want this text here anymore. So I would click on Edit Banner Text. And then I can come in here and I can uh, get rid of that. and now you just have your banner with no text but uh, since this banner doesn't have any text I'm gonna go ahead and put this back um, the grapevine I think it said the grapevine before but I'm gonna change it to the grapevine church alright so now you got the grapevine church there and your banner so we'll log out now and see how that looks and it doesn't look too great but it doesn't look too bad and it doesn't really uh, I don't think it really matches this uh, uh, color scheme that we have so for the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to change your color schemes and select a different theme for your website and that's all for now